Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest thing on 2K in existence. And they done dropped a secret patch, a ninja patch, a secret update, a under the hood update that has completely ruined 2K25. I'm not trolling. We got two devs talking about a new patch update, some things that we will be receiving confirmed. Got some badge tests. We finally get to learn that skill boosts are pointless. The rhythm shooting debacle continues and a ton more things, man. But before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. We are are 100 subscribers away from 301k hit the sub button hit the like button so firstly young mills tweeted out he's trying to test his build they said they already patched and fixed this and it's still an issue it's not letting him use his player he got an nba player the post score double twister himself responds this fixed in an upcoming patch y'all let me know down below if you think they're gonna actually fix it <laughs> So, OD posted this crazy game winner yesterday, right? And everyone's, you know, saying how bad the game is because he did this on four people with a real player percent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't patch the gameplay. Anyone critiquing the gameplay is just engagement farming. You know, just, just not giving valid critiques to a video game that they spend a hundred plus a build on. <laughs> He did that with no timing, man. I mean, what are y'all trying to play, man? Y'all might need to go play them story mode games. Look, LD says this feedback plus his thoughts on real player percent and more has been given to the gameplay team over the past few weeks. So he's basically confirming low key that real player percent is going to be nerfed. Y'all think that's actually going to happen? Do y'all want real player percent to be nerfed? Are y'all one of these double twisting NPCs trying to max out your ball handling attribute to transcend the 99 overall threshold? Are you trying to fly out and get wine to nine? Or do you have ripples in your brain? <laughs> so 2K Lab posts this video. I don't know if this is repurposed content, but he did legend posterizer versus bronze posterizer. And he's saying 99 dunk, 90 vert, 82% chance. And then for bronze, 73 dunk, 65 vert. 52% chance. Y'all let me know if this is valid to you. And it's over silver paint patrol. 75 interior. A young 2K touch and did a extensive test on skill boost. And he's basically saying, y'all be sure to go check out the video. He's saying that it's pointless. You don't gotta buy it no more. You know how much money that's gonna save? This is actually true. You know 2K gonna buff the uh, skill boost shooting. But he's saying it's a 5% boost. And then he gives an example. And he's saying, basically, this is the difference. So if you have have some type of active brain activity you know that this is just nothing like this is nothing like just five makes and a hundred and five like that's nothing like you could save your vc and stack up so i mean and look he even says it's too small to feel so how, how do y'all feel about that now one thing i think I think when things mess, um, or they're supposed to boost your shooting, I think it messes with your jump shot, shot speed somewhat. And that's a popular narrative in the community. I don't know for sure. Toots, you should test out if a uh, skill boost speed up your jump shot somewhat. That might be hard to do. I don't know, or a long time. But I think either if you're buying them or not, you should stick to that. You shouldn't just buy them one day, not buy them. That. You should stick to overall, like what you're going to do. And y'all let me know if y'all notice a difference with skill boost or not man so we got joe knows here's the secret patch they touch skill based matchmaking okay now before y'all start typing and whining and crying on your knees i want skill based matchmaking in 2k i usually don't support it in other games but i want it in 2k it is the key to the revolution to finally fix this gameplay because anyone that's gold plate above all the creators they're finally going to talk that real because they got to face they own and it's just going to make them want to talk more real and really get a better gameplay overall it's really going to backfire on 2k so i'm glad i'm glad it's in there to be honest it, it's literally the only way we could move in a direction 2k they actually they're dumb but they gonna see watch but if y'all didn't know you know nephew demi he was saying and confirming that skill-based matchmaking is gonna be altered and fixed and changed and i don't know like the wait times all that type of stuff is gonna be addressed but what they actually did see look this is why i tell y'all man they be doing ninja patches people be saying all this conspiracy and all bro shootings become easier they do it every year bro they make sure to not start the 
wasn't shooting off too hard. They used to start it off crazy, but they make sure not to do it too hard so then they can see what's people's true skill and limits, like what they're capable of doing. Like if someone didn't find a secret jump shot that's just game breaking or, you know, they start it off kind of weak and then they gradually make it easier. Everyone's just not learning the game finally. Oh, bro, guys, come on, man. W with the shooting, it, bro, you, you could tell, bro. They made it easier, bro. They're always going to make it easier. The end of the year shooting is always going to be crazy easy because that's what the masses want. Um, Steel's definitely got a ninja pack. People aren't just now making smarter passes. <laughs> like, come on, dog. I don't see nut. I don't see as many crazy clips. Like, come on, bro. You know, for a lot of people, panic passing is built into them, bro. They, they, they move in the sliders, the things they could do. The patch is going to be the real puppeteer. Mike Wayne playing God in this. Huh? But as you can see, they, I guess they have the ability to mess with skill based matchmaking without even dropping a patch. That's kind of crazy. Now, I haven't experienced this. I mean, sometimes I keep running into uh, Puerto Ricans and stuff that don't speak my same language. I don't know if this is true because it happened in previous 2Ks also. I don't know why this keeps happening. I don't know how I keep getting in the same servers with these. We don't even speak the same language. I don't know what's, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, bro. I don't know how they're in my servers, bro. It's very frustrating. And then I be lagging. But this is also an issue in Call of Duty and even in other games. Like they're not prioritizing your connection. They're just going for your rank or whatever. Those, you know, the red, uh, gold, whatever the plate, whatever the hell it's called. So like you could play someone in a whole different world in Asia or something, right? And you're hella delayed. Now that's crazy. That's a big F you that we don't like your kind. Like we gonna match you up with anyone. Like we don't care if it's West Coast crazy delay. I don't know if y'all ever played West Coast. It's a crazy delay. That's just West Coast. That's not counting everywhere else. That's wild. Now the plate colors, it's not even a true accurate skill level type of thing, bro. Um, so I think gold and above, they're going and that that think that's so easy to attain, bro. I'm not hold you. So I think a ton of people are going to uh have an issue with this and to do this in a game where servers are cooked, bro. That's crazy. It's already bad with the latency and lag, and then you're gonna make it even worse. And then in a game that's the slowest 2K ever, that's delayed and bro, that's crazy. I don't know, bro. I don't know if they did this. If they did that on purpose, that's wild. And then look, people gonna be on their knees. Ooh, bad for them. Everything y'all asked for, they give it to you. And you still complain. Guys, it's implemented incorrectly. You robot, you smooth brain. You disgust me. Anyone who says that, you're disgusting. Use your brain function, man. It's not implemented properly, man. Stop using these cliches. We got to evolve in life. Who asked to, to fix the wait times that they want to play someone across the seas or that they going to play someone on West Coast or East Coast? No one said that. No one requested that. Okay, so we have to sit down. We have to try to have empathy in life. Empathy and understanding. We have to try to look from other people's view. Stop being so selfish. Social media is engineering everyone to become narcissists, to try to become entertainers. And when it don't work out, they just end up hating them, right? It's a sickness. It is, it's just, it's destroying the universe. This must be ended. So look, he said, we not tripping. Okay, so I'm not losing my mind. Play someone in Asia for proven ground. Apparently badge warned everyone. Skill-based matchmaking just finds people on your skill level and not your region anymore. That's crazy. Oh, here's a message right here. Are you guys from EU servers, <laughs> EA? I don't know why we look look bro do you know how much energy it takes to message someone like a lot of people aren't gonna do this right they would they was lagging so bad he messaged him like yo there's no way y'all could be in my servers playing with two second delay gg anyway that's crazy bro for a game that's a hundred to build hey bro y'all be trying to act like someone a horrible person for roasting a billion dollar company video game like i'm doing this to human beings and just tearing down their life i can't roast Video? I have some type of darkness in me for roasting a video game. Some guys, y'all got to go outside. Y'all are too chronically inside the house and on the internet, man. It is a video game, bro. Get it together. Damn. 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 Is this really true? This is crazy. I keep playing against Americans and that's going to make you hate Americans even more. <laughs> That's what it is today. Felt terrible. 2K is cooked, bro. 
I was playing someone from Canada, then Spain. Bro, damn. How long is it gonna take them to fix that? Dude, did they fix it in COD? Not playable, damn. I don't know. It's one of the most buggiest 2Ks, I ain't gonna hold you. Play someone from France the other day? That's crazy. Hey man, Old Town is back tomorrow. Y'all let me know if y'all are excited to play. This is one of the greatest looking parks ever. Probably the greatest, to be honest. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite looking park ever in 2K history, man. I really miss when parks were like this, man. They just looked better from every standpoint. Um, Colors, the vibrancy, the simplicity, um, the realistic stuff. You know, they got cars in the background, the police driving in the background. Just beautiful. Like, just, I just don't see how it just turns into what it is, bro. It's not about just making things always the same, but evolve that idea. Use that as a blueprint, right? Just how the parks are now, it just, it don't look it, bro. I mean, people gotta, people gotta chill, dude. People saying, you guys just want the same game every year, then you're still gonna go playing. Nobody, no one's saying that. You could do, you could literally have this concept and just change everything, right? Angle it different, whatever the hell, color it different, make it tennis atmosphere or something, you know? It just look way better, dog. Too much ego, man. Not enough talking to the other side to really understand. That's the problem with this world. So GB3 tweet this out, okay? Now look at this. This is a clear example of what I mean when I say when you nerf and try to limit too much, people are gonna go to that real cheat, okay? Let's have a look. Man, it's like there's always something up with this game, bro. Uh -huh. Or like a, a play style that people just figure out. Bro, people used to do this back in 2K19. Uh -huh. Like I remember why. I think it was 18. I think might have did it on 17. I don't remember i think so because the dexon was crazy in 17. nade and like he played with like an insider someone and people would do it they just get Disgusting. you stuck inside this is what they were doing he's a five nine you know just off probably has off ball pest you if you play like this fatherless instant instant fatherless uh, i'm not going it's fatherless and it's just it's so disgusting bro it's like we spending all this money to play like this now this became more OP in 18 because of the collision system, which really ruined the game overall, bro. Uh, like for instance, someone could drive and they'll have three people jump at them. They'll have two teammates wide open and you can't pass through them. You hit someone who missed time to jump and you, you're you not rewarded for making three people jump at you. It's horrible. It really ruins the skill gap for, you know, bad defense, good offense, and etc. It's like legend or something. Or, yeah. uh, slippery off ball legend. Somehow he made that bs shot it was a red horrible it's just we gotta guard this crap look like this. look center is literally just it's holding just l2 getting stuck this was literally called the l2 back in 2019 like look at this it, come on bro look at this if it ain't a close shot glitch if it ain't this and then look you know how this is e even more exploitable Th this is why it's dangerous to try to over nerf stuff bro because then they go to the real cheese man that's just humanity human beings are weak man if this is a post score he could keep doing this to where if he then gets on the, the guard or whoever, he could just post them up, right? That's lame. And then that's going to make it to where they can't switch and help each other, right, bro? And you already know the post stuff is stupid cheese. It's 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 impossible to stop it on your side, on someone your size, right? So to do it like this, it's like a bulletproof method, bro. It's like y'all want to win that bad? That is so cool. And then it makes people not want to play tools and then to make some crazy build to really combat things like this and then they have less fun it messes up your game overall bro and people wouldn't do stuff like this if they weren't so pushed and you know but yeah to stop this you got to keep switching and all this and that and a fake switch sometimes switch and then even if you know the big do get on him and he he you know like then he got like an easier matchup because the contest system so cooked and then bigs can't really have perimeter like that so it's like it can get nasty bro it, it can make you feel helpless you know and it's not like a skilled thing it's just uh i don't really support feeling like helpless on the game i think that that's corny i think it should be way more skill instead of a build gap and a, a strat strategic gap it should be way more skill gap i think that's more fun in all video games overall but most people they don't think like that they they're more of like they think the strategic way i don't know like me and said we really don't lose much in this game i had a bad shooting this look was our this. first game one literally our first game one look at this i had a bad shooting game of course i shoot bad against these dudes it's i think tough. they went to go in like an eight game we just went on like a seven game on the randoms court someone i jumped there i mean he's a five nine someone he's got, a 21 to 20. they barely beat us 
Bro, oh my god. Like, this is crazy. Oh bro. my goodness. There's just some things in this game. This is not even basketball, bro. Like, like, come on, man. Game. Like losing to this. Sim Nation, where are you at? We need your help. Help. That like really ticks me help. off, you know? It's 21 to 27 Sim seconds. Nation. They're doing this entire time. They have nowhere to score. He goes up with a layup on Cedric, a seven foot. And then, and then it's the nut stuff. Like he took it up on the big seven foot and he a little boy. He probably got real player percent in the 70 some three or not three layup. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> paint, paint protector and luck. Uh -huh. I look several pro am leagues banned rhythm shooting. Y'all let me know if y'all think it's too OP. A lot of players are upset with this. This guy plays with Joe Nose. He's saying he don't want to play anymore because I guess he's been doing it all year. Swag Godly also has been spamming the rhythm shooting. And it seems like they like rhythm shooting because it makes shooting easier. I don't know, bro. A lot of people, like, they're in such defense of, like, rhythm shooting. Not these guys in particular, but a lot of people. And it's like, doesn't that mean you want shooting to be easy? Because it makes shooting easier. It's not a hard mechanic, guys. Flicking up and down is not hard. Like... It's just annoying and uncomfortable. It's like a stop sign. Having to keep stopping, that don't take more skill. It's just annoying. You don't want to have to do it. Rather it just be green and go. But, you know, he probably started stick shooting, stick shooting. Oh, Cardi likes stick shooting. So overall, it's looking like people want shooting to be more consistent and easier overall. I think if you love rhythm shooting or you want that in the game, your component for it, you're saying that you want shooting to be easier and more consistent. Literally, bro. That's literally your stand. It has to be, right? Or am I tripping? Am, am, am I tripping? I'm, I'm confused. So Splash tweets out, 2K25 is not even that bad, but it's just bad only in uh, comp settings. Rice at a competitive level. He don't know how they they supposed to play for money to 20 now look someone tell splash bro. stop saying stuff like this this literally means you are telling the devs they did a great job that means they don't care about no damn competitive level look what they did if you're saying that the game is good and that it's great for casuals why would they change it that means you're going against yourself you gotta say it's bad at a casual level a lot of casual millions of casuals agree majority of the nba fans so i mean if y'all want to get um things move you gotta ju jump on the swan train bro i'm aware of these casuals i get so much feedback on all platforms there are millions of casuals that do not like these newer 2ks they don't like 25 there are a ton of issues even from the casual perspective they're not just you know it's not you know they're they not <laughs> you feel me they they can tell a little bit what's going on but it's horrible from a casual perspective and a competitive perspective now look igimo tweeted out to every point guard on the game i get it okay he'd be playing center usually comp guy 2k lead now look six for 26 four for 22 now look this is probably a little troll but there's truth in every joke right now a lot of y'all that be talking that talk you would actually shoot like this if you went you can see he's in the stage a lot of y'all don't know that if you went to the stage and played a top team top line you might actually shoot like or even worse right a lot of people will be talking that talk they're playing complete robots with smooth brains they don't have working thumbs or they have arthritis in their thumbs something of the sort people need to try to understand the opposition in life right they need to have more empathy or try to understand go to where they're playing face who they're playing and see if you still have the same opinion right there's different perspectives in life guys right so you have to try to understand someone's perspective not just think through your eyes your Lynn. Like, you don't think he could go to the wreck on a PG and just shoot six for eight or whatever, or eight for eight from three or whatever? Gotta, there gotta be more thinking, guys. Okay, he was in the 2K league. You guys have to stop thinking you're always better than everyone in everything. Sometimes you gotta, you know, th just, th just think, man. A young swan, y'all be sure to follow him on Twitter. He's the greatest. He brought up an excellent point. Hey, I don't think a lot of y'all are considering this, man. Close shot or rhythm shooting has to take a hit really think about this man so y'all know the post cheese right with the damn close shot right one of them has to get nerfed right for for that to stop so you either gotta pick close shot now if you nerf close shot od that could mess up the layups even more to where it does and the standing layups a lot more other things that might be factored in
doesn't make sense and just throw it off. But if you nerf the rhythm shooting, you got less of a chance than breaking the whole game. Now, we don't have two talented devs. Mm. So, I mean, I don't know what these dummies gonna do, <laughs> but I'm telling you, if they leave that rhythm shooting how it is, I know y'all niggas double twisting on your knees, mouth wide open, but if they put that close shot, mm. even though the close shot's still OB, OD, like even without the, the rhythm shooting, if they put the close shot, it could mess up a bunch more shit, to tell you. Now, the other option is to buff the paint defense, which also would bring more issues. But look, you know someone said, oh, people always say, don't patch anything. But look, they have to. They have to learn how to balance the game, guys. We can't just be in a state of fear and say, do nothing. Cause it's going to break it even worse. It could make it better, but they, they got to figure it out. Like buffing the interior D, which they definitely need to do. It could make you miss layups even more wide open ones. And then they say they're going to nerf real player percent. So we're going to see how layups really work. When people have real timing on, they miss layups. So imagine you can't time your layup to hit it, then interiors buff, and then they took the real player percent out. Either way, the game cooked. And I'ma keep roasting this hoe. But apparently, you know, I'm, I'm a bad person for uh roasting your video game that you created. <laughs> hey, Swan brings up a great point, man. And what a smart guy. Y'all should definitely follow him on Twitter. So this guy made a long video basically saying that um stick dunking is OP with um the paddles on the uh, the Xbox controller. I don't know if this is too true. True or not who knows i mean maybe you get quicker input i don't even know if you really need that someone test it out let me know like a dunk every time or so nevo responded and said my boy okay so let me get this straight they tried to fix it and made it even worse you can't make it up now you might get games fast but you will quick shoot will happen way later that's what i'm saying what do these guys get paid for? you guys that be double twisting defending these devs man would you turn on humanity for uh in the future for a uh, dark like what's going on man why you turn to verse your own kind with no rewards man is it that envy in you you just hate people doing better than you or people that are better than you like what's going on man stick together dog you're supposed to be one of us this is what splash is saying a lot of people are saying that shooting with the paddles for rhythm shooting isn't that op some people say saying it is this is what splash saying splash be winning all of my team tourneys it was in the 2k league you know the play now i don't, I don't know he's saying it's like playing a new game with the i mean if he tried it i don't know but this is take he say it's like playing a new game y'all click on the video on the screen if you want to see the best jump shots for every build and every height in the game it will change your life but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again we're talking this for when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome